Okay, so we've now heard from NFL Commissioner Ron Goodell. It's been more than a week, and he said two things. The, the most important, that he's not resigning and that he got it wrong. He, he admitted the mishandling of the league's uh, domestic abuse uh, incidents and now a scandal. Goodell faced reporters in New York yesterday. He apologized for dropping the ball. He's now promising to usher in sweeping changes to counter domestic abuse in the NFL. We've got Joey Ryman in with us uh, to talk about this. He's a branding executive and the author of The Story of Purpose, a book that is on my bookshelf. Uh, Joey, thanks for coming back. Thank you. Most agree that the NFL has fumbled you know, the handling of this scandal. Is this good enough, or is this at least a good start for Goodell? It's a good start, but it's still, he's still on the defensive, and this game is not a, a game of defense. It's a game of offense. We've got to tackle a number of issues. We've got to tackle the brand, the culture, and football itself. So, all right, let's talk about this. Yeah. Is it possible that there is one element that, if it's, if, if it's discovered, could be the end for Goodell. Let's say he saw the, the, the recording inside the elevator. Is, is that the end for him, or can he survive that even? You know, this is not a, an end game for Goodell. This is really an opening of, an, of an, the most important issue that we're facing. This is a, a tragedy that this is going on, but it, it brings up this notion of abuse. And, you know, frankly, I mean, a, a woman is abused every 15 seconds in this country. So. So that's on the field now, and that's the issue. It's not Goodell. I mean, uh, I don't know what's going to happen to him, but uh, what's going to happen to the game is significant. Again, the brand needs to take a stand against nonviolence. The culture, uh, the culture needs to be tackled, and, and we need to start rewarding these players not for hedonism but heroism and really for safety and for team and uh, 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 for partnerships. And finally, the most important part of this, mm. and it's bigger than Goodell, is the game itself. What's the purpose of football? The purpose of football originally uh, was to exceed one's limits, not beat the other guy and take that lesson home. Well, well uh, it seems that that is what many people are tuning in for now. And, and the ratings are soaring. Let me ask you about the, uh, the endorsers, some of the, the corporate huh. sponsors. <laughs> uh, we've heard from Anheuser-Busch. We've heard from uh, Procter & Gamble. But they're not exactly stepping away. Do you think there's, they will step away? No. This is the best news for marketers. And, and, and congratulations to Procter & Gamble and Anheuser-Busch. You know, companies are the new quarterbacks. And they're saying you're going to play by a whole new set of rules. They're a much, much higher standard. So I'm thrilled that companies are getting involved now and saying, you know what, you better step up or we're stepping out. All right, Joy Ryman, uh, branding expert, and uh, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you, Victor.